Welcome to Iceland. Today is our first day here in Iceland and we got a pretty big one planned. We're going fishing first and then we're gonna see what we can't get up to after that. Waterfalls, nature, mountains. First I gotta figure out how to make this coffee machine work. Hmm? There you go. Oh! Oh, you ready? Yeah. 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 How deep a water will we be up to our chest ever in, in nah, water? It's, no, it's not that deep. Okay. Not that deep. They all the same? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Watch out for the barbed wire. Like in the middle of here. Yeah. You can wait out a little bit and then cast upstream. Cool. Yeah. There you go, Sean. Come on, boy. Oh! <laughs> Sean, let him run. You're doing you're, too much pressure. Fishing here in Iceland is crazy because they don't have like a game warden service and people actually privately own the water. So you actually, you gotta know somebody in order to fish here. We're out with a guide today, his name is Bjorn, and the company he works for has a lease on this land, so we're allowed to fish. Jordan's hooked up. Yeah! yeah! Jordan, get your hands wet. Your first fish on the fly, though. That's sick. We gotta get that because it's, it's slow water. John, he's coming to you. You ready? Yeah, I'm gonna catch him again. Bye, buddy. Beautiful. Sick man. one. Thanks, man. You're welcome. <laughs> nice fish. Oh, just lost probably the biggest brown trout I've ever had hooked. It's never a good feeling, but I feel like I did everything right. Kept the rod high, had good pressure on it. It took a crazy run. It ran from like here all the way to down there, and I was running along shore with it. We have to use barbless hooks here in uh, Iceland, and I mean, sometimes those fish can just pop, 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 and pop the pop the hook out. So not a good feeling, but there's still a lot of fishing to have yet today. All right, let's get back at it. I'm gonna retie my leader, and we're gonna see if we can't get a shot at another one. Oh God, it's big. Let line out. Let line out with your hand. I'm not letting lose this fish here, Jordan. Hold this. I'm gonna help you here. Hold. Keep holding your attention. He's coming. He's coming to us. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. He's so big. It's huge. Yeah, it's so big. Yeah. He's huge. Oh boy. Shotty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a big female, no? A big one. Look at that fish. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, boy. That's a really good trout. That's really nice. <laughs> you just drop it down in the net. Yeah, there you go, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold it. <laughs> <laughs> we got clean, a good one. Clean release. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Dude, this is fun. All right, let's get another one. <laughs> Dude, you see that thing go out of the air? 
Oh. oh, oh. All right, here it comes. Here it is. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's big. It's, it's so a big. Beast. <laughs> <laughs> Get him, Bjorn! Get him! Oh, oh he's safe! Thank you! Yeah! Yeah, it's good. Go fish. in a little bit. It's a big brown. Look at that fish! Dude! <laughs> yeah, buddy. Look at that brown. Beautiful brown trout. This is a great fishing day. Yeah. So good. All right, rods are secured to the car. Caught some fish. Now it's time to move on to the next thing. And here is the vehicle for the week. We've got ourselves a 2018 Jimny with a rooftop camper. This thing is tiny and super sick. You can see we're riding on, I think, 17 or 16 inch tires, and it's got a little bit of clearance. Today we're working with about 30 kilometers an hour of wind, which is enough to uh, blow your hat off, quite literally. And of course we got some rain, which I'm told is pretty common for here in Iceland. Bluffs are insane. This little Jimny is pretty capable for how small it is. Drove down about three miles and uh, we found the Arctic Ocean. And it looks gnarly right now. This is the fun part about Iceland, all the driving. Overland. Oh, these two handsome gentlemen taking pictures. Hey! Part of what we're doing here is taking pictures for the new spring line of merch. Which you can check out at mavoutdoors.com or Mav made it. Whatever you prefer. Oh! This moss is insane. Okay. 
Have a good day. After our quick little detour, we're back on a paved road. It is really funny driving this thing around because it is so light that the wind is just blowing it all over the place. I've got my foot almost to the floor right now, and I'm just able to make it over 100 kilometers, which is, I think, like 63 miles an hour. So although I only have 120 kilometers left in the uh, day of travel before we try to find a campsite, it might take me a little bit to get there. How would you say this? Fiat, 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 Seen it all. No walking. Dude, that is an insane. This is so cool. I guess that's why they call it Iceland. What, the seals? Yeah. Oh, they're right here. It just smells like fresh over here. It's nice. These glaciers are so sick. So tired. Oh yeah, it's camping time. Mmm, campaholic mixtape. Oh yeah, dude. Oh shit! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I definitely think you could. You might get stuck right here. What do I do with a high center on this right now? Just go slow. <laughs> Wait, be careful. Don't don't get all cocky now. Well, should I just, how am I looking underneath right Hold now? on. Well, it looks like you can go straight, maybe. Wow. Just walking my chimney. <laughs> hey, we really made it lemonade out some lemons, baby. <laughs> this, is, yeah. this is way cooler than that campsite. You know what else is cool? The seatbelt thing doesn't beep at you when you're in four low. <laughs> all right, well, we walked all the way down to the riverbed, and... It looks a little gnarly right here. I mean, we could probably do it, but if it rains really hard in the morning or if for some reason we can't do it, we're kind of SOL in the spot. But look, we're like, you can see the river right here. Look at that. That's so sick. <laughs> yeah, we found a cool spot. Let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. Nice. Nice. Uh-oh. 
This could get interesting. Ooh, an Ikea steak knife. You want to take it down there? You take this down there and fill it with water. Cheers. In the back seat, eh? All right, Jordan's going to get us some river water, and I am starting on our lamb soup. Very full days out here in Iceland. It is uh, just about 9 p.m. right now, and pretty spent, honestly. Probably you'd be fine. I wouldn't drink a whole bottle of it, but a sip won't kill you. Yeah, Dude, that's crazy. Got some ice mountain out here. I did that. Yep, it's boiling. <laughs> Pretty. Not bad. Not bad, mate. Not bad. Should I put a crushed up boulon cube on it? Boolean? Yeah, we're gonna do it. Oh, it's cooking. It's cooking. Yeah, would you believe me if I told you it was 9.30 already now? It's crazy. It's really insane. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can cook this meat faster with a lighter. <laughs> Here, this is this is how cold this pan is. That can't. That cannot be How is that possible? <laughs> That's insane. It's not gonna stay on there. Just tips over. All right, 37 minutes later of sitting on this hole. Woohoo! We got boils. Okay, that's actually pretty good. It's good broth. What do you think? I'd say let her cook. Let him cook now. Here's your soup. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. You know, the soup is a 10. The service? Four. Could be a little better. Yeah. The broth actually got a nice flavor. Mm-hmm. From like the bacon and stuff. Cheers, bud. Cheers, buddy. Thanks for waiting for the soup. Oh, of course. I did buy two of these bread things, but Jordan got so hungry waiting for soup. Can't blame me. Oh, that's so much of a meal. Okay. Apparently lamb soup is an Icelandic meal. They, we had lamb for dinner last night, so I could see it. Dude, they had so much lamb available at the grocery store, too. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Like, every different cut. Where do you think this lamb came from? It was sirloin. It is good, though, huh? It's hot as mother. I know. I can't believe you're saying that. It's so funny. We waited so long for the boil, and now it's almost too hot to eat. Sad Soup gets a 7.5 out of 10. 8, maybe, right now. I'm so hungry, though. I would eat that lamb raw. Oh. No, I wouldn't. Mm-mm. Probably not. Oh. That was a full day. We did a lot. And we made glacier soup. Oh yeah.
getting in here is going to be impossible. Dude, I bet this is like a child's <laughs> sleeping bag. Look at us. I saw What is this? You got a bed <laughs> sheet? <laughs> this is the lighter they gave You're me. like... <laughs> oh, God. All right. Two hour, two hour glacier water soup. Lamp. Oh, dude. I got to go. All right. Well... Maybe see in the morning if I don't die from the smell in here. No. <coughs> oh my god, dude, that's so bad. <laughs> Good morning. <sighs> Good morning. <laughs> dude, this tent is tiny. <laughs> my feet touch, and then my head touches. I was, I was curled up in a little ball last night. I could totally just fall out of here right now. <laughs> like, oh. Last night, it got down to about 38 degrees. So, not the coldest, not the warmest. But probably one of the most scenic campsites that I've been at. How can you beat this? Alright, tent's all latched up. Now we just gotta get the heck out of here. Alright, we made it out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. We're gonna go grab ourselves a Viking waffle. Oh yeah. As always, until next time, you're under the drill. Let's keep on trucking.